We are going to learn about domain and range of continuous relations. So remember with continuous, there is a line or a curve that connects points. With discrete, we had just a scatter plot and we just listed the X values and the Y values. But on here, because they are connected like this, we cannot list all possible X values. Because I would have to list out, let's say 1.3, 1.33, 1.3333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. 2, 2.1. Because it continuously um, connects. Okay. What you're going to need for these notes are two different color, either pen or a marker or color pencil. You could get out two different colors. All right, with my domain, I'm going to use one color, and with range, I'm going to use another one. So you just need two different colors. And then for function, you can use a separate one. I'm just going to use like a purple pen, pen. So as a reminder, domain is X and range is Y. So everything that I do with range is going to be pink. Everything that I do with domain is going to be blue. So like I was saying a minute ago, with discrete functions, we have individual points. We can number them. We can count them. Continuous, we can't count. There's an infinite number of points on each one of these graphs. So what we are going to have to do is we are going to write an interval, like an idea of what the x's could be from left to right. So how far left? the function goes and how far right it goes. So domain will be represented with left and right. So I'm gonna look at this first example. We're going to look and see how far left and how far right it goes. So what I'm gonna have y'all do is draw a fence around the relationship that's being graphed. The, either it's a line or a circle or a curve. You're going to draw a fence around it. The first part, part of the fence that you're going to do is left and right. You're going to see how far left the function will go and how far right. We're creating what's called restrictions or boundaries, just like the fence in your backyard. If you have an animal, a dog, um, or let's say you have a pasture, horses, cows, they're boundaries. Your cow and your horses can't go cross those boundaries of the fence. So we are going to create boundaries for each of these relationships. So I'm going to look at the x-axis. I'm going to name it my x-axis. And I'm going to start at my origin and I'm going to see how far left does the function go? Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So my boundary is going to be at negative four. But does it actually touch it? It looks really close without actually touching. So I'm going to create my left side boundary, my left fence. And I'm going to write what that is. It's negative four. So it says left, comma, right. So it's going to be negative 4, comma. And then our right side. So I'm going to see where's the right side of the fence going to be. It's going to be down on number 3, on 3. So my fence for left and right is from negative four to positive three.
and we need to um, put either parentheses or brackets. So we did a little bit of this whenever we were doing inequality, solving inequalities. We would write it as an interval notation. If it's included as part of your X, then you would put a bracket. If it's not included, you put parentheses. Because this doesn't actually touch negative four, I'm going to write it as a parentheses. You don't need to be using my root. Put it away first. So then this would be a bracket because it actually does touch the three. So that is for x values. So that's your domain. On the range, range is our y-axis. Our y-axis tells how far down it goes to how far up it goes. So we're going to put down, comma, up. So now we'll create the fence for the bottom and the top. So starting at the origin, it goes down to three. So I'm going to draw the bottom fence. And that's at one, two, three. Negative three. And then on top, we can enclose it with this fence, and it goes one, two, three, positive three. So we write as the bottom negative three to the top three. And both of these, they actually touch the line. So that means they're both brackets. Okay, is this a function? No, why? X is repeat. And also if we did our pencil test, the vertical line test, this function, the circle, it touches the pencil twice in one vertical line. I'm gonna put fails the vertical line test. Let's look at number two. <clears throat> so remember, domain is our left to right. So if you need to, look back up here. See if we can draw boundaries. I'm going to look. How far left will it go? Can I put a fence here? It goes on and on forever. So it goes to negative infinity on the left side. It's going to the left forever and ever and ever. It doesn't stop because of that arrow. And then right, how far right does it go? Yep, it's gonna go to positive infinity. So negative infinity to positive infinity for left and right. Can you actually touch negative infinity? So it's going to have a parentheses around it. Can you touch positive infinity? No. no. So it's parentheses. So anytime you can't touch it, it's parentheses. If the function or relationship actually touches the boundary, then you'd put a bracket around it. I need you to sit up, please. Thank you. What this also is, Negative infinity, positive infinity is any possible number you can get. That's called all real numbers. We're going to use the symbol for all real numbers. Okay, range is our y, so we go on the y-axis. 
How far down will it go? Can we put a fence on that? This is going to continue to go down forever and ever. Yep, negative infinity. And then this arrow, we can't put a fence here either, so it's positive infinity. So negative infinity to positive infinity. Parentheses go around infinities. So this is all real numbers. Anytime it's infinity, negative infinity, positive infinity, it's all real numbers. So is this a function? No. Yeah, it's a line. It's going to pass the vertical line test. It's only touching my pencil once every time that I go down. So it's yes because passes the vertical line test. Okay, let's go to number three. See if we can box it in. Okay, so we need to go domain is left and right. How far left will it go? Forever. Forever and ever. So it's negative infinity. Because it can, this point has a negative one as our X. This one has a negative two, negative three, and it's going to go on and on forever. And the other way as well. Yep. It's a positive infinity. Parentheses go around that. That also means all real numbers. Now our range is how far down, how far up. So how far down does it go? Can we box it in? Can we put a fence there? Yeah, because it, it hits this number and then it goes back up. It's kind of like a ball. It's going to hit the fence and then come back at you. So how far down does it go? Goes to negative two. And then how far up does it go? Can I put another box of fence on it? Mm -mm. So we only have one fence here. So this goes to positive infinity. It actually touches negative two, so we have a bracket around it. So this isn't all real numbers because it doesn't go negative infinity, positive infinity. So it's just like that. Hey, so is it a function though? No. Yeah, if I do my vertical line test, what do you see? There is a line. Mm -hmm. It only touches one time, right? Yeah. All the way through as I slide my pencil down. It doesn't touch twice, so yes. So it passes the vertical line test. Okay, let's go to the inside. You are going to work with your table group now on number four.